I created a video some time ago showing you how you can make elemental tabs scroll horizontally using some line of codes which you can find in the description of this video since then elemental have done a lot of updates and added a lot of features for the benefit of those that are not aware now we can easily achieve this without the need of any line of code or additional plugin so let's dive in and see how we can achieve this okay so before we proceed we need to make sure that uh Certain features are set to active on our Elementor. So we just head to our Elementor settings and then we'll go to the features and make sure that uh, the flexible container is set to active this. And then most importantly, the uh, nested element is also set to active. And once we've done this, and then we'll hit on the save button and now head to our editing screen. And then we we'll search for tabs. Now this is the, 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 the widget. We'll now drag this widget and then we'll drop it here. Now, as you can see, the, the widget, uh, if you, some of us are already conversant with this widget, but if you're not conversant with this widget, this widget allows you to add content, whatever content you want to add here easily. And so what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to rename these uh, widgets and then make it uh, duplicate. Let's say, let's give it uh, uh, some funny names. Let's say uh, music, uh, videos, um news let's say we're building a, a blog site or something and then let's just duplicate this uh, duplicate it uh, yeah I think this is enough so I'm gonna pause this video so I can just rename this and in order to avoid making the video very long okay so as you can see I have uh, renamed the various tabs and also added some uh, minor contents to each of the tab just to make things uh, look a little bit interesting all right so the next thing we're going to do is right once we're done with that we just need to come down here to the additional settings and then on you see the horizontal screw you just need to click on it and then set it enable it and then you come down to the breakpoint you make sure you set the breakpoint to none so once you've done that you just click on publish and then if you should preview it using a, a, a mobile simulator we can see it working effectively on a live uh, simulator something like this you can see it uh, and then you can even change the device and then we can even try it on uh, let's say a tablet let's try it on tablet let's see it also works on tablet you can see it works on tablet as well uh, we don't have much tabs here that is why it's not moving but uh, the bin will have more tab to have been moving as well so this is pretty much how simple and easy it is to achieve that without the need of any additional code any code any line of code or additional plugin 